Hi, I'm Manfred from the Bardot team of Samsung Mobile Innovator. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about building location-based services with Bada. I will show you some essential functionality which you can use in some fantastic ways to realize your application ideas. This video is one of the essential Bada series which should assist you in getting up to speed with Bada. Make sure you check out our blog at developer.bada.com or the Samsung Developer channel on YouTube for the rest of the series. Bada is not just a software platform for mobile handsets, it is also the whole ecosystem which is necessary to bring your innovations to the market. This ecosystem is brought to you by Samsung, and it provides all the tools you need. In our videos, we introduce the Bada SDK, which can be utilized by open application programming interfaces. In order to facilitate development, Bada is shipped with an IDE that is based on Eclipse. Here, we refer to the 1.0.0 beta 3 version of the SDK, which is the most current during recording of this video. In today's video, we will take a look at the functionality built into Bada for exploiting geographic information and location-based services. We will start with a short introduction to location-based services, the added value gained through them, and how they can be realized through Bada. After that, we will present an application example. We will give you an overview of the essential classes offered by our libraries, and using the Bada IDE, we will show you the source code required to load maps, get locations, and display them on the screen. Finally, we will demonstrate the compile example using the Bada simulator, and test it with a tool called the Event Injector, which is included in the SDK and provides a comprehensive and convenient test environment. As our networks grow and diversify, services that are related to specific locations become more of a requirement and opportunity. Where and when can now be answered by applications allowing real-time advertising, feedback and information services to be sensitive to specific locations. In other words, the content offered to the user of your application can be filtered based on their specific location. One of the most promising fields is local search. The Kelsey Group estimate that in three years' time, the total revenue from mobile search and advertising will be 1.4 billion euros, which is an annual growth rate of about 140%. And that is only in Western Europe. Additional revenues from advertising are expected to generate up to 2.3 billion euros by 2013. But you're not here for graphs and charts, so let's get our hands dirty with a real coding example. The Bada libraries are logically subdivided into functional groups, which are called namespaces. In this video, we will introduce three namespaces. OSP Locations, OSP Location Services, and OSP Locations Controls. Each namespace includes several classes, which are related to each other in various forms. With the Location Provider class of the Locations namespace, you can define the source of your position for example, from the built-in GPS sensor. The Location Provider class inherits from the interface iLocationListener, which listens to location update events. The Location class, representing the actual location information, is a part of the Location Provider class, forming a compositional relationship. The namespace OSP Location Services provides a number of useful services that can be exploited one of which is encapsulated in the IMAP Service Provider interface. Through this interface, applications request map-related services from a map service provider. The interface iDirectory Service Provider accesses the services offered by directory service providers. The application can, for instance, request search data for nearby places, products or services. Through the interface iRoute Service Provider, applications can request routing services. Another useful interface is iGeocoding Service Provider, which gives access to geocoding services. With this interface, your application is able to request geocoding and reverse geocoding, meaning a service provider converts street addresses into coordinates or vice versa. To help you get the most from Map Services, the Provider Capabilities class holds the type and name of the service and additional information about the capabilities of the service provider. With this information, your application is able to decide which service provider to use when requesting services. The last namespace presented here is OSP Locations Controls, which allows users to pan, zoom and interact with maps in a natural way. 
The core of this namespace is the map class that we will use now in our code example. In this example, we will show how a map can be displayed on screen with an overlay revealing the user's current position. Our application is composed of four C++ source files. mapdemoentry.cpp, mapdemo.cpp, mapvisualization.cpp and mapinteraction.cpp. In addition, there are the corresponding header files mapdemo.h, mapvisualization.h and mapinteraction.h. We have covered the basics of BART application structure in our previous videos. So if you are unsure or feel like you need a refresher, please watch the early videos in this series. Now we would like to take a look at our two main application classes created here, map visualization and map interaction. In order to be able to display maps, we need access to a geographic data provider. You can do this by signing up at Decarta, who is supporting BART developers with free access to its development server. Just go to decarta.com and request a key for free. Once you have your key, you can link your Decarta account to your application by creating an instance of the IMAP service provider interface. We do this in our map visualization class. After that, create an instance of the map class and invoke its construct method. This method takes the pprovider object as one of its arguments in order to initialize the instance according to the map service provider details. Then you are free to configure the map corresponding to your display requirements. You can define which map data you want to use. We set this by invoking the method setPreferencePropertyValue, which is a member of the map class. For demonstration, we pass it the string globalmobile, which would be the default anyway. We now switch to the map interaction class. Here we create and construct an instance of the location provider class by adding in the location source. We are using the built-in GPS receiver. You can also configure the update rate by invoking the request location update method, which is a member of the location provider class. We register a location listener that requests periodic location updates every 5 seconds. In order to catch the location update events, you need to override the onLocationUpdated method. The onLocationUpdated method is passed an instance of the location class by the event handler. The location class contains the location-based information that your application can utilize. Here we use the getter method to retrieve the values of longitude and latitude and then center the map on the user screen. Once your code compiles without errors, you can run it in the butter simulator. An extremely handy feature of the simulator is the event injector tool. We can simulate the phone's built-in GPS sensor by dragging and dropping the pointer on the map or enter latitude and longitude coordinates and send those as events to your application. The BADA simulator is a very useful tool for testing your latest location-aware application. In this video, we introduced you to map and location functionality provided by the BADA platform. We particularly focused on getting geographic information via the IMAP service provider interface, presenting and controlling it on screen via the map class, and displaying and updating a changing location with the location provider class and the location class. We hope you enjoy bringing your location-based applications to life on the BADA platform. Extensive documentation is provided in the SDK, and there will be further technical walkthroughs available. So please keep checking our website, developer.bada.com, for even more crunchy bait to finally dive into BADA. Mm -hmm.